I'm just gonna get the sun on that way right away. So, three, two, one, go. So, yeah. This is I want to kill the Camellia too, and I'm the absolute madman for running this in the marathon. <laughs> this game is... If you thought Boshi is a difficult game, oh boy. Well, I mean, you're right, but also, yeah, harder games exist. Yeah. And we're about to play one of them. So we're taking this soon. <laughs> um, this is just like Boshi, a playing game of I want to be the guy that has the first screen. Um, yeah. It looks like I want to be the guy, it plays like I want to be the guy. But luckily, it doesn't want to be the guy who does that game. That's uh, the first death. Specifically, this game is what is uh, called in the community a medley game, uh, which means that it takes lots of different content from other I Want to Be the Guy fan games. So, pretty much at the start of every screen, you're going to see a little title card in the right, which is going to show you the game that the screen is taken from. And some, are, some of them are changed, some of them are just the exact same as in the games they're taken from. Uh, but you know, you get lots of variety that way. Yep, so this is like a trigger screen or a trap screen. Or, or, or. Hit the save, I can't hit the save, I never hit these saves in <laughs> uh, So yeah, whenever I go somewhere, spikes fall down or appear or spawn or whatever, it's just learning what to do. So in the top right you can see this is from my uh, Conquer the Blow game. We have very creative names for our games. You can start with Ivana. I mean, there's literally over 7,000 of these games now. Yeah, we're gonna do a skip here, we're gonna save jump. That's not how you save jump. This is how you save jump. Good, the save's a bunch of time. Yeah, so when, 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 you, when you hit a save in this game, it just saves your exact position at the time the save is hit. And uh, when you reload, you, you'll get your double jump back, so you can do that kind of stuff. And in this engine in particular, I think it's, is it unique to K2, the, the speed console? Pretty much, I don't know any other game where it worked. Yeah. It worked in the sequel, but it doesn't anymore. Uh, in, in this game, you can actually, uh, when you reload, it will also conserve the speed you had uh, before you reloaded. Uh, so we can use that, actually you're going to see that on the next screen, um, to boost you further upwards than you would otherwise be able to go. So yeah, this seems pretty easy so far, but... It's gonna be pretty easy for like 20 to 30 minutes. And then the difficulty is gonna pick up really, really quickly. Yeah, this this game has a very, very strong difficulty curve. It starts off pretty like most most people I think would be able to get past stage one without too much trouble. Yeah, it's a safe boost. We try to save in the air and then we jump reload to have maximum momentum upwards. It's like we're getting two full jump heights while being safe in the air, so we can jump a little bit higher. That basically just skips half of that screen. That jump down there, that's a corner, a frame perfect jump. I just hold right and jump at a random time and hope it works. There we go. Do we have time for a quick donation? Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right, we have $5 from Nessity saying, Hi everyone in BBF. Time to show people what a hard game truly is. Here's five bucks to begin with. I will continue to donate $5 for every boss you first try, and another five if you beat the game within the estimate. Good luck, and make sure to kill Camomelia. So yeah, you're probably not going to see any donations from him anymore. <laughs> maybe, maybe this boss, let's see what this RNG does, so... Okay, we are past the difficult part, so this is... Uh, the bosses of this game are like... mashups of the bosses of the platforming screens I did in the stage. For example, this card was from... I actually don't know. Uh, this is Girachi from I Want to Be the Yellow Star. So these are bosses from the games that the platforming is taken from. Did I turn off sticky keys? Oh no. Haha. -ha. Got them. Good meme, right? Sticky keys. Excellent. That's like an ancient meme of the Penguin community. Never gets old. I think the original game did it, didn't they? Uh, the original game had the game crash oh. fake. I want to be the fan game at Sticky Keys as final boss. So. Stage two. You follow my mouse like this. This is better. Thank you, Tech. You are the best. <clears throat> so it's always every stage consists of ten platforming screens and a boss. The platform isn't that. 
interesting, I would say. Except it looks kind of impressive if you do it quickly in the later stage, which was... This game gets super difficult. What I like about this game is that it's just the screen variety. They're taking screens from so many different games, so there's always going to be some variety. Oh, I haven't died to that, like, ever. I mean, not all the variety is good. There's some uh, pretty questionable screen picks in places, <laughs> but... Just a little bit. Uh, I want to point out Stage 5 in that regard. Stage 5 is the worst. But we're going to come to that later. So yeah, first fight by boss, so we're going to get 5 more dollars. Beats good man. Also, if someone donates with a text saying this isn't much of a speedrun more than one video completion, please accept that donation and read it right away. <laughs> it always cheers me up and it's, it's, an, it's a good meme. I like memes. We have a very cultivated meme Marie in the scene. I first read that screen, it's, it's kind of hard to appreciate or realize how difficult this game is because I sometimes make it look really easy. So on this next screen we have two kids to control at once, so we have to dodge the spikes with both of them. I just look at the bottom one and know where to go. This screen is nice trial and error. There's like invisible triggers everywhere that teleport you around and you are you're gonna have to trial and error to get past that. Something that might be intentional about this game, there's like one screen in every stage that's considerably harder than any other screen. And this is the one for stage two. This top save here took me like probably 200, 300 attempts on my first playthrough. Yeah, this lot of that jump. This screen is kind of a good like preview of the insanity you're gonna see later in the game. Just take a good look. So these are platforms. They have a pretty special thing. You can, if you are touching a platform with any part of the kit and press jump, you get put on top of the platform or you jump through it. I should have taken that save. Oh well. The screen is Still easy. Still save take it on the way back. Ah, this is the speedrun screen. You have like infinite jump for a limited amount of time after you go to the top right. Why am I missing every single save? So this screen, the top quarter is blacked out and you can't see it. Pretty awkward for lining up that uh, the jump through the spikes yeah. downwards because it's like it's a 16 pixel gap, which means you have two frames of horizontal movement to land in there. I don't want to get too technical with the jumps. A uh, 16 pixel gap is pretty straightforward. Again, there's a safe up here that you can't see. I shot it, obviously. Like, why would they put a safe up that you can't see? I'm gonna totally skip this safe because it saves a lot of time. Usually, I'm supposed to save it and reload to get on the platform on time. If you do a thing at the start, you can just hold right and barely make it. This is taken from the uh, original I Wanna Be The Guy. And this is the last screen of the original I Wanna Be The Guy. So you can probably guess who the second boss is mainly. And the main part of every boss is from the last screen of the stage. So we're gonna face the guy. And then we'll have just random attacks thrown in from other bosses from other games. Yep, 16 pixel gap here. Okay. If you die, they use like 40 seconds because the screen takes forever. I also probably say the stage has, uh, the game has six stages, and then five bosses, and then a boss rush, and then like more bosses. So we hold right here, that's Miku, she appears every now and then. First try. Does that count as a boss? Okay, the guy. Out of all the people that love Vocaloids, this is a game for you. Vocaloid avoidances are like a thing that happens somehow. There's Miku again. We're gonna dodge apples to the music. This attack is usually much, much easier. I know what she's doing. It's not nice. The thing about this boss is the last attack is at the very end, pretty much, or close to the very end. Did you just say the last attack is at the end? The hardest attack. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm nervous. Dude. I think <laughs> this game in the marathon is spooky. Yeah, I don't blame you. Like, the estimate is 15 minutes over my PB and 21 minutes over the record. And I'm still gonna go over probably. <laughs> but this is the hard part curving bullets are pretty hard to read. Uh, we're not gonna get the quick hit, I don't think. That's fine. He's supposed to be dead already, but he shoots a big bullet, we deal it back to him and he's dead. That's another first try. 
Money for yeah. charity. <laughs> also, the glass kills you when he falls through the glass. Literally, everyone I see they're playing the same casually dies to that. So I just saved you from that death if you are going to play this. Stage 3. There isn't too much going on here right now, so you can probably read some donations. Traps. Yeah, just always. This game is very trigger heavy. Can I make that jump? Good. So we're gonna trigger that spike. We can also have some block up here. Skipping saves. This is probably one of the easier saves to skip. We do have a save boost here to skip the first save or the majority of it. I think the first save of the screen is actually pretty difficult, so that's nice. This gate jump, those are called gate jumps, because they are a gate. I can't do it, this jump is so awkward. Come on. Oh, the jump height you need for that is super weird. There we go. Do we have time for a few donations? Yeah, go ahead. We got a $2,000 donation from Star <laughs> saying... Hello, hello. Good luck to BBF. That's a lot of money. Thank we you. got a $60 donation from Anonymous with no comment. And we got a $5 donation from Vpop saying, Subset that I missed the Sands of Time segmented reveal. I got stuck at work. Shoutouts to the pop speedrunning community and shoutouts to Catalyst, Epic Dude Guy, Toka, and Groost on their fantastic runs. Thank you so much for those donations. I should probably chime in here really quick and say the top bar, wherever the apple is, that color doesn't kill me. So I was probably a bit late, but we got a $2,000 donation that was worth it. Uh, you can... I don't know. This screen is really boring. You should have saved a donation for this, actually. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> this is like the mega ultra backtrack screen. Not a single player of this game likes this screen. Because the jumps are trivial for the most part, but you still die because you fall asleep at this. I wouldn't be surprised if anyone falls asleep playing this screen. It's like 30 completely trivial jumps that are somehow still chokeable. I mean, trivial if you're good at these games. I, that's not a single difficult jump. <laughs> this, is, this is trivial for someone that has beaten like one game. So, fun fact, there's actually a, actually a glitch in this game called Ceiling Jump. If you press jump on the frame, you touch the ceiling, it refreshes your double jump because of how upside down things work in this game, I think. And if the portal was there at the top from the start, we could skip the last two triggers. Either the developer knew we could ceiling jump, or he just... I don't know, he just spawns the portal when you hit the last trigger, so that's like, sadly, a 20 second time save we are missing. Oh, we shoot that arrow. The arrow is pointing at a spike, and we destroy the arrow, and we have to destroy the spike it pointed at. Like a pretty good com it's not actually pointing at that spike. I just realized that. Good commentary TM. I'd like to think that that, that two thousand dollar person just uh, was donating for death. And just has <laughs> no faith in you. Uh he's not wrong. <laughs> so if he if he went for like five dollars per death, I could see it. Four hundred death in the run or not. Also V6 gimmick. Everyone loves the six, right? We first like the screen, that's pretty good. The ending part is really hard. Oh, this screen. It's like, you can do a ceiling jump here at the end. I didn't hit that trigger. <laughs> uh, did, did you explain where the ceiling jump is? I just did. You press jump when you touch the ceiling and you get a re-jump. I explained that on CQ, where you right. could skip the ending. So, triggers after triggers. So, okay, we're gonna go up here. We have to usually have to do two rounds around here. Oh, I got it. I usually nice. that, that block at the bottom is fake, but we got the ceiling jump, which is good. We have to do a, some more ceiling jumps later, but it's probably not that much of a use trick, and mostly it's at the start of saves. So that's like the only one that's hard to get. So once again, this is the screen that's considerably harder than the rest of the stage. Luckily, you can skip like half of it. If I could do this jump, that would be fantastic. Hello? Okay. So we stay here, we save boost to get over here, and we skip the bottom half of the screen. Um, this landing next to the spike is 
precise. And now we have two corners on one save. Corners have the notoriety of being really precise. Like, and there's a lot of them in this game. Yeah, um, the guy that one of the guys that made this game, Camellia, the person you are trying to kill, basically, he's like known for loving corners. He puts corners everywhere. Also, if you're thinking about playing the sequel, don't play the sequel. Camellia Three is like another 100 times harder in this game. And the first game, we, we don't talk about the first game. <laughs> it's like the worst thing ever. If you see the first game at a marathon, it's gonna be at an awful block <laughs> where it belongs. <laughs> so, no points. Suddenly, Viridian. This is not Viridian, this is Vermillion. It says Viridian in the top right because the creator of this game made a mistake. Also, a Lucas song as music. How that's Volcanoids. This is RNG ish. We survived. Okay, dodge. Uh oh. That was close. <laughs> okay, good landing. Okay. And we have. You're gonna sing this. What? Hoin Kioma. Right, yeah, that's the Science Gate. Yeah, this is. It's the Science Gate intro, I think. Is it? I don't know. I think I it's the intro in the visual novel. What? It's <laughs> I walked off before I jumped. So the thing is, if you walk off a platform before you jump, you only have one jump. And it's a lower jump than usual. So we're gonna start all over again. Um, In my opinion, this boss is easier than the previous boss. But that's because we quick kill it. So because of the uh, iframes that the bosses have in this game, you don't actually want to mash as fast as you can. There's just kind of a rhythm that is optimal for dealing damage. I don't actually know what the rhythm is of this boss. That's why my damage is always bad. Uh, it's a lot better than when I used to play it. That's actually a thing in this boss that not even casual players see. You have to like go one and a half cycles on this boss to see a face. I think no one has seen that casually ever. Because you would basically just have to voluntarily not shoot the boss to reach that. It's kind of weird. But yeah, that's, we are skipping uh, probably the hardest part of the fight by getting the quick kill. On this part, the small stars target me and the big stars are pattern. So I just try to go up as slowly as possible. And now, RNG. We're just gonna try to stay here. Or go to the middle. Middle is good. Because at the end, the stars burst out from the middle. So being in the middle is good strats. I like this song. I like this So on this part, we get song. pulled towards her. Uh, if you know, it's like pattern, if you know what to do, it's free. Uh, so, yeah. Whenever I beat a boss, I can basically clap. Especially from now on, because from now on the bosses get yeah, really, really hard. Also, oh, Sour Please. This song is Sour oh, Please. Nice. I love this song. Favorite song in the game. I was watching a practice earlier today, and he was talking about how good this song was, and I couldn't remember what this one was. Oh, we wait here. We do a skip, I think. I think this is not the intentional threat. So, we conserve one landing on this block. Okay, to trigger that. You can trigger that by just walking right and then walking left. But this is the screen that's like in every single medley ever, and it's always different. And we have a really bad jump here, like this drop gate. You can't land on the floor because it's a fake block, so you have to do with the drop gate, and it's precise because there's a spike afterwards. That's like the hard version of a drop gate, in case drop gates weren't hard enough yet. I think I got a healing jump randomly there. I was trying to double bomb. The game is lagging. What? I really feel like it's lagging. Yes. Do we have time for a few donations? Yeah, go ahead. We got a $60 donation from Anonymous saying, Smash it, BBF. We have $5 from Kainalo saying, Hi, BBF. I'll donate $5 more if you can finish the run with a smile on your face. <laughs> Impossible. Good luck dude. on the run. Impossible. And we have a $43 donation from Minimus L. Yo, BBF. Sorry for not being in the audience, but I'm still watching from my hotel room bed on my hotel room TV. Good luck with your run and have a dollar for every minute we use trying to escape today. I didn't get that. What did he say? One minute for what? Oh. Well, this is probably my, my favorite screen. It's like really fun to play around these triggers, unless you can't do a gate jump. Quick reminder that gate jumps are two frame windows, you need to four or five frame jump. So it's not my fault that I'm dying, it's like 
This one game runs at 50 FPS, so it's a 1 25th of a second timing window. Yeah, let's run into that spike. You did. So this, the title kind of the screen actually helps you do this trigger at the start because the fake block is right where the title card starts. So I, I died on purpose to show that, oh, by the way. I've been doing bad on the screen lately. Something is not right. Focus. So I, I, I was scared of this run for a very good reason, I think. Yeah, this run is pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty rough. It's not gonna get any easier. Shoutouts to people that play this casually that don't realize there's a trigger in this, but it's in this gate, we have this really hard to notice, and then they get stuck on the screen not knowing what to do. So, I don't know how they are supposed to figure this screen out casually. You go left once and then right twice. If you have a donation, real quick, or a message from our sponsors, you can read that real quick. We are gonna be running around a bit. Good meme. I, I love the screen. Great screen, right? Puzzles. No idea how you're supposed to figure Puzzles. it out carefully. So, cycles. Good. Doing the angle to start. That's a theoretical skip you can do here with your ceiling jump. But it's way too difficult to do. We have to trigger this and our precise jump. That should make it. Yep, good. So, last screen, but not really last screen of stage 4. The last one that we don't glitch. Yeah. We have basically skipped the last two screens after this. Dude. So this screen is really, really good. It's from I Wanna Be the Explorer. However, the game is really, really bad except for this screen. So I'm really glad I picked this screen. That was a fantastic death. I could have picked any other screen from this game and it would have been terrible. But this is floor 99 of 100. It's actually a good screen. The guy that made Explorer won take this game. Uh, won to be the Explorer. He released a second game. Everyone was hyped for it because they thought he would do better than in the first game. And then the second game was pretty much the exact same bullshit as in the first game. And everyone was disappointed. Just a little fan game lore that no one cares about. That people should know. I'd probably do some shoutouts to like. My parents that are apparently watching if they're still awake, and my sister, and my nephew that's probably gonna watch the VOD on YouTube. I'm just hoping I don't swear so much because he's four and a half years old. <laughs> At three. So we save boost here. If you save boost, only the lower kid gets a boost, so you can get the upper kid stuck. Which is great because the upper kid has all the spikes. Yeah, this song, uh, this song, this screen would be like the most difficult. This screen would take forever, but we just glitch in front of the bullet bill and. That's it. 61 deaths. That is absolutely horrendous. And serious time. At least the finding. You can read donations. So you can do whatever for like two minutes. This boss, <laughs> is, this boss is really boring until the very end. Just killing Goombas, collecting rupees. You know the drill. A really, really boring boss. I enjoy this music though. This boss always looks terrible on my stream. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how it is on the USA stream. The scan Probably lines better. ruined this boss so much. Oh, yeah, no, that was fantastic. <laughs> That's the first time I died to the hammers in probably a couple hundred attempts. <laughs> I know, you were just saying earlier yeah. today, where like, I used to think the hammers were really hard and they're actually to be easy. To be fair, that was bad RNG. The hammers never jump around together like that. Yeah, it was kind of bad. It probably could have jumped over, but... If you are so used to them being completely free, you don't really think about what to do anymore. How did I not double kill? Yeah, I'm going together again, but this time in a better rhythm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That guy can spawn kill you without mercy. He spawns randomly left or right. We hope he doesn't wall us. He, like, very rarely gives you bad RNG. And that was... Almost pretty close. Bad. Now for the Zelda part of the boss. I should probably mention that I'm dead. <laughs> and this game is a, pretty much a remake of the first one. The first one was so bad, they probably just decided to remake it. 
bosses are very similar, except that they are not terrible. <laughs> well, they were, they were made by different people, right? Yeah. The first one was made for Camellia clearing 1,000 fan games, I think. And this game was made for Camellia's birthday. Or the other way around. What's well, Camellia 3, then? I don't know. I thought that was the that was next number of fan games one. That was a Christmas present. It came out on Christmas. Ah, uh, I hate this boss. So just in case I get mega stuck on this boss, I have backup saves literally everywhere. So if it if, if bad comes to worse, like I might get stuck on this boss for 10-15 minutes. Then I'm just gonna skip it in the for the sake of the estimate. <laughs> I'll probably give a shout out to Fatske for accepting this game. <laughs> he has faith in me. I've probably never seen faith more wrongfully put into someone. <laughs> we will see. Like, what happens now? As long as I get stuck for like at least 10 or 15 minutes here. What happens before boss rush usually doesn't really matter for the run. Because boss rush is where the game gets its hit. Also, those bats can screw you over by having a weird rhythm. Also, nice. did you miss Miku already? Here she is. Is this the last time Miku shows up? Uh, yes. Yeah. So this is probably pretty much all targeted and now she does this RMB burst and she starts targeting you again. Uh, okay. Now for the hard parts. All this just to get to the hard part. And if we die, we have to start over. So this is like the first super mega run killer boss. If you die here once at the last phase, you lose like at least two minutes. If you die at the end, you lose two and a half minutes. And this doesn't get hard until like the 24 second mark, I think it is. No, 28. I know this game. That was pretty spicy RNG. I can't handle the spice, dude. Jesus. At 20, the right side guys that fly over horizontally just disappear, which is pretty cool. I don't know why that happens, but it makes it a lot less stressful for me. Also, this big hit head is RNG. Sometimes it's really unfriendly. Okay. Nice. <laughs> we are past the worst part of the... No, not the worst part. The hard part of the first half of the game. Yeah, I guess. What time are we at? Oh my god. I, I gotta hurry up. And we have the worst stage with the worst song ever coming up. Stage 5, fittingly, has by far the worst song in the game. It runs like on a 20 second loop or something. Hey, I first tried the save. I didn't first try the save. <laughs> How did I die to that? Like, what? Okay. Don't do that again. Good. We're taking. We're touching this wall. You will see me touch random walls every now and then. Pretty much starting now to make certain jumps easier. Probably too much into the uh, essence of the game to explain that, but every pixel counts is the easy explanation. Also corners. I hate this stage. Like every single screen is bad. Come on. No, not every single screen, the last one's pretty good. The, the, the second one, what's it called? It's the red one? Scapegoat. That one's not too what? bad. What? That was a choke and then some. I'm mad at myself. Okay. Now we do this two diagonals and then two diagonals back. And then we do two corners. Very good level design. So this is two frame perfect jumps in a row. You should like get into the perfect position and then press right and jump on the same frame, which I'm apparently, as usual, incapable of doing. It's like 50-50. Sometimes I'm really, really good at pressing two buttons on the same frame, and sometimes I'm not. Good. I want to. I want to just give a quick shout out to the fact that like BBF's gonna be talking himself down this entire run, but like this game is hard. It's really hard, and he has he's like what third place on the yep. leaderboards. Like, you know, I I did a run of this game once. It took seven hours. But you're bad. And that was with practice. Not like I haven't practiced or anything. Do we have time for a few donations? Uh, in in a couple of screens. There's a really boring screen coming up. All right. I'm gonna give you a heads up. 
the screen that's conveyor belts, which pretty much everyone in the community says they don't like. It's the worst gimmick. I don't understand why people think they're so bad. Especially these ones are not that bad, because they move at your exact speed, so you can just yeah. you know, hold against so them. So we get still. different speeds here. Yeah? We have triple speed, which is pretty awkward. We can't go left there, because doing this diagonal down here with triple speed is like test only. At least the safe is really easy. You can probably tell I'm pretty nervous because I'm dying to everything that's pretty easy about this game. I've had a lot of easy death. So, you can read donations now. The screen is absolutely horrendous. Okay, we got a $20 donation from Kefit saying, Hey BBF, you're doing awesome on this Camellia 2 1 video completion. Good luck with the best of the run. I'll be watching and cheering for you. We have a $40 donation from TC saying, smash it BBF. Also, I selected the wrong visibility for the previous donation. Good luck to the rest of the runners in the marathon. We have a $10 donation from Bobular Bobstar saying, hey BBF, F, hope you have a nice run. I don't really, ha really have anything else to say, so I wish everyone a nice event and good RNG for the runs. Thank you very much for those donations. Thanks, my friend Sven, for that meme donation at the end. And everyone else, of course. Nice. Uh, apparently a lot of the hanging community are watching this. So I beat that screen really quickly. It has like two screens, two saves, like 30 plus seconds long. And it's super chokeable. Yeah, that can just like totally ruin your stage five time. This screen is so awkward. This jump, I don't get this jump. I don't get the jump before it. You just two frame. That's probably why you couldn't do it. Fair enough. Why is this jump impossible now? <sighs> what? Excuse me, princess. Okay. I just have to complain. We do a full jump setup for this jump, otherwise it's going to be pretty awkward. If I could get into the right position, that would be great. Thank you. I had a bad vertical sub-pixel there, so I died instead of landing on the block. Okay. Uh, the last jump of this is a required two-frame, so pressing jump and releasing it a frame later. So it's a, it's a two-frame. One frame is pressing and releasing it on the same frame. Can I land next to that spike without dying? Is that like possible, please? I'm getting screwed by the game. Pretty hard right now. Okay, I, I gotta stop being bad. I can't do it. Do you want, do you want to do the screen? I think you can do this. Yeah, because I'm right great there. at two framing. I three framed. So frame perfect jump at the end of a save. Bonka S. Yeah. This is probably the best trigger screen in the game. I really enjoy this one. I like it except for the nonsense at the end where it just kills you if you don't jump. <laughs> That's like the best part. Like but if you if you if you just walk at the end of the screen into the next screen, you just die. You have to jump. Yep. That's for a, that, no reason. That's a spike off screen that you can't see. So I think that's really great. This screen also saves luckily so I can just skip, skip leaving at the start shout outs to myself for finding this quick strat it's like probably one of the only parts of the game I actually found shout outs to Zwantik not knowing you can save here and taking literally 5 <laughs> on the screen yeah this on my first playthrough I did nice, not realize you could shoot back at the save well, the, start the start of the save is RMD and I got it first try okay uh, buckle up kids we might be here for a little bit <laughs> Once again, the screen that is considerably harder than the rest of the stage. Good. Good. Oh. Nice. You can clap for that, please. I made it look really, really that, easy. That is like the hardest part of the game thus far, that he just did really fast. This is probably the hardest platforming part of the entire game for a lot of people. Harder than most stuff in stage 6 because the spike placement is so awkward. You don't die there. Now we're coming up to the end of stage 5 and it's gonna be a little bit weird. Because we're gonna see something that we're gonna see again in like 16 hours from now. 
course, the, the classic save two of PYF being way harder than the first one. <laughs> this save is so easy compared to the first one. I guess our speedrun's not really... It's pretty close. Okay, so... Now we have Fat Kid. I hate this screen. <laughs> I really don't like it. Didn't you take longer on this than on PYF? In, in the speedrun that I did, quote-unquote speedrun, I think I might have. So the thing in this screen is... It's really hard to control Fat Kid. Like, you're so fat. It's hard to know what exactly you have to do. Also, you get stuck in the spawn sometimes. I don't think I've ever seen that. That hasn't happened in a while. I was gonna mention it, despite it not happening. <laughs> but good thing I got to control it off. That's a nice thing about the second screen. Um, this uh, PC has V-Sync Force. Can I? Like, what? That like rarely happens now. It happened twice. I want to get to the second half to explain a good joke. I think it's a second screen is supposed to run at 70 FPS, but because we have V-Sync forced, it's gonna only run at 60 FPS, making the second half considerably easier. Isn't that nice? It's actually it's, it's actually harder for me, I think, because I'm used to 70 FPS. <laughs> you probably jumped early there because yeah. you're used to going faster. The in-game time actually runs faster when it's at 70 FPS. No, it's supposed to be one sec. What in the heck is this? Now you know why I hate the screen. You hate everything that changes the privilege of the game? Yeah, basically, yeah. That's fair. Okay, let's just do this, please. Nope. Basic trap in the middle of the screen. Walk off and jump. That jump is actually pretty precise. The difference between jumping too late and jumping to the top spikes is not that big. It's not that hard either, so I, I shouldn't be on the screen anymore. Are we past 40 minutes yet? I can't really see the clock. No. So a good run gets to s the next boss in under 30 minutes. So I'm like 10, 10 minutes behind my PB already. Feeds good man. We're at, we're at 36. God damn it! I'm so mad right now. We also, I, I should first try the second half, but I didn't. I'm sorry for everyone watching this. I just, exp I just really, really hope that no one is donating for death because this run has a ridiculously high death count and we are not even in the meat grinders stage or screen. It's actually it's faster. I feel like it's not even faster. Thank you. We want to skip the save because it also saves. It's boshy time. Where have I seen the screen before? And where are we going to see the screen again in like 16 hours? So, this is actually going to be the part I'm going to be stuck at in Boshi later. <laughs> or probably the part I'm going to be stuck at in Boshi later. Yeah, here it's like one of the easier parts of the stage. This is actually the easiest part of the stage. Like, actually, actually. This is really easy. It's like this corner and everything is easy. Mm, why do I cut everything easier and then fail it? Ah. That, this is what you can look forward to in the Boshi run. But also, I don't know, I'm running the Boshi on the hardest difficulty, and which means there's only pretty much one save per world. And, and this, this is the last screen of one of the worlds. The last screen of the most boring world. Every time you die, you have to do over a minute of auto scrollers. That's gonna be fun. I think the only part I expect to skip in my Boshi run. Okay, we did it. And now, for the boss, we're gonna see later again, except in super much more difficult. Because we haven't had enough issues yet. Can we first try Hello Kitty? Yes, nice. I think the hardest part of phase one. That's not RNG. She targets you, but it's if he's like RNG. It's kind of awkward. This kind of combines the, the first and third phases of the Solgren fight in So Boshi. we just stand here and wait for 10 seconds. Exciting. You have to jump for the last one, which is weird. Right, left, right, left, right. Seems good. We're gonna go over here. Uh, RNG, please. This is a hard RNG part coming up for the Sonic Rings. Oh, okay. Okay. This is fine. So, we have Shang here, who is the main RNG issue in Boshi. But it's actually fair here because the blood doesn't go off screen. God bless. That's a spider. 
Okay. Ah, uh, why is he still alive? Okay. So we are supposed to go to the top of the screen here, but there's a really interesting skip that I think no one knows how it works. Where if you wait here and wait until the platform collapses and you jump, you get to phase two. If Without you, having to climb the... Yeah. If you mess that up, you soft lock the game, so I really didn't. I have backup saves, so it wouldn't have been the end of the world. So, classic phase two of Sogrin. Everyone that has seen Boshi knows what this is. Except that it's a lot fairer. Oh, okay. And easier to get the one cycle, right? Yeah, much easier. Out of the orbs have fair hitboxes. In Boshi, Boshi has a little hitbox issue in like everything. That was a one cycle. And avoidance, because Vocaloids. Oh my god, I didn't walk off. I thought I walked off. Good. I don't like this run anymore. I'm gonna try my best. So, casually, this boss took me over 20 hours because the avoidance is hard to learn. Hard to learn, easy to master, thankfully. Once you get it one down once, it's pretty easy to repeat. I probably shouldn't have said that because you all know what's gonna happen now. I like jinxing things, so. Probably a piece of information you should know. <laughs> Whenever I say this is the run, it's definitely not the run. So again, uh, the Cyan Apple's RNG, the Dark Blue ones target me. Because that wasn't enough, there's gonna be other Dark Blue ones that. Is that Light Blue? I don't know. That are gonna target me but explode in random bursts. Oh, it's got in a random spot. I would say it's light blue, but less light than the other light blue. Ah, uh, this is bad. What do I do now? Is this fine? This is fine. Is this fine? This isn't fine. <laughs> um, please don't kill me. Uh, so this part takes like 20 hours to learn. How did I not? I, I, I'm not gonna say it yet. Okay. Okay. That was exciting. So there's usually like a really long radius segment here, but we just go under this bullet instead of destroying it, which makes the rest of the fight not play out. And you can read a couple of donations here. Can you open my water bottle for me? All right. This we have a $70 donation from X Pendulum saying, $1 for every hour Swansea gets stuck on a certain musical instrument. Good luck, BBF. We got a $20 donation from Adam Cake saying, Good luck, BBF. I'll donate another 10 if BBF and Schwanzee can clearly explain these strings. Uh. So, <laughs> you fall at less than a certain amount of pixels per frame. So, your vertical by position pixel is like different every time you jump, pretty much. I probably explained that terribly. I'm sorry. Anyway, now for the hard part of the run. This screen is pretty notorious. Okay. Okay. Oh, I almost didn't make that. I would have been so sad. Nope. That's really sad because I first tried the hard part of this stage. Corner. No? Good. One of the great things about this kind of run is that you don't really have to explain like why this is difficult. You just look at it and it's like, yeah, yeah, there's... So you have to like, the first jump of this, like the last jump of the previous save has, it's like a required 5 frame jump. Here we have diamonds. Diamonds are forever. And I always get stuck on them forever. I can't do it. Every time. Come on. Come on, bruh. I'm better than this. I can't do it. Now would be a good time for the uh, not much of a speedrun donation. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're fast, you can beat this screen in less than a minute. We are probably already two minutes on it. I I don't know what's so hard about this. I'm just gonna go in serious mode position. Maybe I should have done that earlier. Oh, hey, it worked. But this save is diagonals. I hate diagonals, especially the last one. Oh. Never <clears throat> oh, mind. More corners. For some reason, this corner is pretty. Like, the first one you can set up by saving a certain spot, and the second one isn't particularly hard, so. Okay. Going back to earlier, I died to that last jump like, what, 10, 15 times? Maybe not that much, but. So, if someone can explain the first jump of the save to me, that would be great. 
I just randomly jump in sometimes works. So let's... We're taking that... We're touching this wall to make the jump easier and I faded anyway. And the extra spike is probably one of the more precise things you can do. Then you have to jump off without walking off first, so... Come on. As I said, I'm really bad at pressing two buttons in the same frame. Okay. So my character on the screen is not invisible. Unlike what it's a lot of people very, think. very small. I'm a 2x2 two two dot. 2x2 two two pixel big dot. Otherwise, the screen would be literally impossible. The screen is also in the sequel. But it has like three times as many spikes. This is probably the easiest screen on stage 6. Stage six. It's got good music. Well, stage 6 is good music. The thing with stage 6 is, which is unique to it, every screen has different music. But it's a lot more enjoyable to get stuck here. Yeah, they were nice and didn't make you listen to the same song for however long it takes you to beat the stage, which is good. Which is a wire. I mean, I, I was stuck on the next screen in my first playthrough for 10 hours anyway, so... But it's gonna go by in like 10 seconds if this goes well. If this goes well. We wanna try a ceiling jump here. Oh. So there's there's a lot to this uh, the screen. You're supposed to like go all the way around and then go back down to the start and then go all the way around again. But <laughs> through a couple of different skips, we skip basically it. all of it. Try to go for the other strat. I was apparently I'm too bad to get this right now. Yeah, what he's trying to do up there is another ceiling jump, and again, that's frame, frame perfect. And you have to do it on a frame perfect position. Like you need to turn around on the frame, you hit the edge of the block, and then you jump really far to the right. I don't know why I'm messing this up so much. Maybe it's fixed. It's actually a remake of this game in the workings. I'm gonna fix all the bugs, so it's probably not gonna be the best speedrun. But you're gonna change the final boss, so it's a big plus. I think I should probably just go for the normal strat. Do you remember how to do the normal strat? Probably. I first tried this like this. And now it's impossible. Monka shake. Yeah, this is very Monka shake. But I haven't done the normal strat or the old strat. In literally forever. I don't even get a ceiling jump. It's really awkward. I'm gonna go for the quote unquote normal strat. I mean, yeah, we're still gonna skip like most of the screen. Yeah, we're gonna skip the difficult half. We need a first right to drop gate. So we go here, do a really precise first jump, and then jump back without. You're not supposed to trigger a spike on the right and then go uh, fall down. And do the screen again, but with like 10 triggers added. The screen, the jump is really, really precise. It might take a little bit. I knew it. As soon as I went next to the spike, I knew it. Can I just get this, please? I'm really. Sad that I'm not getting this. I'm doing it so well in practice like twice in a row. I'm not jumping high enough or something. Oh my god. This is like a 10 second screen to first try this. Not even 10 seconds. We are so boned. Yeah, this is not gonna happen. Just like the estimate, it's not gonna happen. You're probably not even gonna get to post rush in an hour. You're probably at like 50 something minutes now. 48. Oh. Well, the way this is going. <laughs> the world record is at Boss Rush. Uh, six minutes ago or something. There, we did it. Good. Now, from bright red to dark blue, which is great for the eyes. You know, I'm just going to make up all this time by first trying every Boss Rush boss. You know it. Yeah. Hey, I almost first tried Stronger, right? And I had once in phase two. The yeah, he died to the avoidance. I didn't walk off. I am so sad. I can't do it. I need to get my shit together. This is gonna be a very, very bad run. Yeah, I'm, I'm like tilted or something. I'm gonna play Windows 10. <laughs> I play at Windows 7 at home. And Windows 10 is like weird sometimes. It's like, it feels normal. I can't even do a gate jump. What is happening? I need someone to untilt me. Would it cheer you up any if I told you that the first time I played this, when I was on that other screen for 10 hours and I got to this, I jumped into a spike before hitting the save? Good. Good okay. times. Ah, uh, the screen. In the original, 
general. I want to be the destination. The screen has like one fifth of the spikes or something. It's ridiculously easy compared to this. I don't know what they were thinking. Okay. Don't choke, please. Thank you. Also, the screen has a lot of diamonds. So I hate it. Like this double gate thing is a diamond because the shape in the middle of the spikes is a diamond. Makes perfect sense. Okay. We are touching that wall to make this jump easier. As always, we are touching walls to make certain jumps easier. Come on. So we are a little bit under time pressure here because this wall is coming. Good. We can read some donations here. There's another one of those backpack screens. Except that this is difficult. If you have any donations, go ahead. All right, we have a five dollar donation from Kiara Death saying, "Try this game once. Took me one and a half hours to beat the first screen. The first screen is literally just holding right and jumping. If <laughs> you only beat the second screen, which is." Pretty hard if you don't know how to use vines. Uh, so the thing about this screen is, every wall you would touch by default when going through the screen is bad for the jump you're about to do. But knowing this, we can avoid touching walls you don't want to touch, and it makes it considerably easier. Like one extra frame of time window for jumps here and there makes a huge difference, obviously. Like the angles with a good align. Uh, three frame windows, I believe. With bad line, there are two frame windows, so just by touching a wall, you get an extra frame of leeway. Now he has to go all the way back around. Yeah, this is great. You get soft dog on this screen by saving past the first door. It's pretty cool. You have to actually be careful. Like, if a lot of runners, including me, idle shoot when they are like not doing platforming or just walking around on spot A to spot B, and then they shoot the save past the door and then they soft lock. Then that's pretty sad. Okay. And now from a really long save to a bunch of really, really short ones. This is needle hell. This is pretty much just all like one or two jumps. So this screen can cause like upwards of 100 death. It's going pretty well so far. Okay. The hard save is in the top left though. One of the top left saves is the hard one. Okay. Walk off, thank you. Then this save is randomly two diagonals and this save is really easy. I, I don't know. The save balance on the screen is questionable. <laughs> okay, this this is the hard save. This jump at the top takes forever. That's a vertical vertical sub pixel strat that I don't use because I can't then I remember. The worst part is that you have to do the staircase every time. If I didn't have to do the staircase every time this would be a okay. Uh, okay. That's never happened before. <laughs> I think that's a blue screen. Uh, it's blue and it's a screen. Nice sounds. <laughs> so uh, I was playing on the practice PCs and it didn't happen, so I have a reason to go estimate now. Can I pause the timer somehow or anyone? <laughs> that would be great. Oh dear. <laughs> I can just switch to a different PC if it's needed. I have every single backup save on my phone. Uh, rip. Oops. Does someone have to restart the PC? Maybe. Well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's starting. It certainly was unexpected. Or maybe it's all just a big plan. Maybe it's part of the I wanna be the games. Maybe. Just another Windows 10 crash. And then it's all just jibated. Feels bad. I hope the safe file is not corrupted. Well, so. tech is definitely on it. They're trying to fix it, hopefully. But why would it happen in the first place? I don't know. Windows 10. Can they Figured it me? out. <laughs> the people hear me, probably not right. Well, while we're already here, I guess we can just come back to I'll some other speed. runs. Okay. Also, uh, you know, we reached 41K. That's pretty good. Right? Yeah, we got over 40,000, <laughs> so... Why is Discord on auto-start? Why is Steam on auto-start? <laughs> I want nothing of this. GTA 2. We can hear everything in the background, so it's super weird. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> they're trying to fix it. I'm pretty sure they're gonna get it, so. They're on it. It's cool. <sighs> We're still not any closer to getting Eidgod's hair just okay. being yep. cut completely, or yeah. halfway, or that half. I'm, I'm not sure what they're gonna do. Just, you know, pull up the big bucks. We use this 718 away, you know? We, you guys can do it. I want to see I'd got it without hair. Oh, is yeah. That, is that mean? Definitely. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Everyone wants to. But on the other hand, we're getting like closer and closer to the magic numbers here on the donation tracker. Ooh. Guys, so. can we get it to for, uh, you know, for 2069? <laughs> oh, no. 420, 69 is for casuals. How about 69, 420? Damn. Bring out the big numbers <laughs> here. Wow, there are so many more PC runs coming up. Is that the first crash, actually? Like, pure crash? Yes. Oh There's my God. some game crashes, but that's like legitimately just... Well, yeah, there were some intentional, <laughs> like in Warrior Within, I believe. But... Let's hope that was the only one and stays the only one. Other than that, coming up after this, if we will ever continue this. Oh, never mind. Bye. <laughs> I can't Ew. hear the. I, I want to point out I can't hear the game. That's no game audio. Yeah, we don't have audio at the moment. I can do the save after the game crashes. That's that's a good thing. Let the timer stop and start again. I guess. Yeah, okay. We need audio for the game, <laughs> kind of. The save is great. You have to do two two frame jumps. And you need to be in the correct spot for the second one. That's the three frame. That's the three frame again. Frame perfect jumps, my dudes. Tell me about the save, Zonzik. How does your laptop keyboard fare with two frames? Yeah, not well. <laughs> it's really Can hard. I, like, please? This is ridiculous. Yeah, this is about how this usually goes for me. It looks like the way it's going for me right now, okay. Except it would take like five times as long. <laughs> so, platform jumps again. You're supposed to do a weird platform jump at the end of here, but we're just going to walk off and jump and hopefully not die. Whistling. Okay. Oh, well, it's close. This, this feels empty without music. I can hear the crowd. How are you doing, guys? Still awake? Yeah. Everyone's still awake? That's good. Thank you for staying up so late for this train wreck of a run. I hope you enjoyed anyway. We are about to get to the interesting part of the run. I didn't catch that because of the clapping. Tech, what did you say? Okay, one second. Just gonna stand here. Exactly 55 minutes. Okay, we are back. Hi. <laughs> Am I actually allowed to talk now? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> good. They're fixing audio right now, so you can actually listen to the tunes. <sighs> okay. <laughs> What's I was about to say is... After this, we have Family Guy. Memes, I guess. <laughs> really? Okay, well. There are. <laughs> I still don't have audio. It's real. I, yeah, now I have it. Oh, nice, okay. So we had the Tower Please part of the song already. It really means it's a bad screen. You don't usually hear this part of the song. Unless everything goes wrong. I guess everything is going wrong, just in a different kind of way. Okay. I mean, at least it's not purely your fault. That's yeah. a good feeling, right? Okay, I'm gonna continue, okay. Just making sure I don't get a fake time. So this jump on the left here. It's like a frame perfect first jump. You see like 19 frame. I made it and I reloaded! RIP! This first jump is so annoying. I think there's like a different setup for it, I don't know about. Classic. So this screen is from a game called I Wanna Be The Catastrophe. Which is very fitting, because the screen is usually a catastrophe. Haha, uh -huh. 
we had jokes. Do the jump. This is the easy save. This is the easy save. This is the easy save. Okay. You have increased gravity for it. But yeah, you are like heavy kids. Out of out of all the saves on the screen, it's definitely the easiest. Not having high gravity is easier than going fast. So let's see how lucky we are today. This save is like randomly hey. holding right at the end. And I first tried it because I got really lucky. I think that ending is like dependent on your vertical sub pixel or something, and it can sometimes be impossible, maybe. Maybe Using not. another save boost here to skip. Yeah, this is like a screen wrap screen, but we just jump up to the top middle and skip the first half. Okay. The last platforming screen we're gonna see for a while, so I hope you don't like platforming because we're gonna see bosses for the next 20 minutes ish. Boy, it's a lot of trap. It's like a really, really old fan game that you can pretty much blame for like half of the tropes that appear in fan games these days. Yeah, Love Trap invented the Vocaloid meta that's still here today after like, when did this come out? Oh, uh, that was not the perfect timing. Oh my god. You don't die in the middle. Spoiler alert, I can't take the save in the middle because saves only save your position. They don't save trigger status or whatever. So if I would save in the middle and die, I would have to go to the top left again. That's not optimal. So we're actually in kind of a hurry here. <laughs> because a good run takes about 25 minutes from entering boss rush to getting to fin uh, to beating the game. <laughs> and this is not a very decent run so far. Maybe I'm gonna just shine at the bosses. At least I don't need to explain the bosses because I have this dude next to me to explain them. Don't take the save. I will I will try. Also don't choke. So on my first playthrough I died to the very ending of this part. It was very sad. Because this screen. This is like a really, really difficult screen casually. Figuring out how you're supposed to do these jumps. Super weird. Nice, I first tried the hard part. I shouldn't have said that. Okay, I first tried the hard part. Boss rush! Alright, here this, we go. This is not your classical boss rush from Mega Man. You have, don't have to beat all the bosses in one life. That would be super ridiculous. That we are just beating them. This is Gravity Man from Mega Man 5. Pretty much a learning boss. Uh, this is boring until the last phase, like all pattern. He jumps in a specific uh, pattern I the him. whole fight uh, continuously. That has like six chances to shoot. Kind of him, fun you have. Um, you have bigger bullets, and it's still really hard to hit him somehow. Yeah. Um, but basically, like, you just learn a strat because um, depending on when you trigger the phase transitions uh, for the different phases. You're, you're gonna have to do different strategies to avoid stuff. I really don't want to miss him again. If I miss him again, I have to wait the entire cycle of him moving through the screen. Yeah, because he he's not gonna know a strat yeah. for the last phase. I'm supposed to trigger the last phase here, but I didn't have enough damage. Yeah, so if he triggers it right now, like he's just not gonna know what to do. So unless you want to you know, learn six different strats for every phase, you just have to kind of wait oh. if you miss okay. too much. Now, the peanut phase. Uh, the bouncing hops are a pattern. The peanuts. RMG. I think I got nuclear bombs or something in the Mega Man. I look like Peanuts though, so we call him Peanuts. Did I miss him once already? I kinda need to know. Yeah, I missed him once, that's fine. I've never died to this part by being greedy. So exit. Yeah. Nice! That was a first try. <laughs> Spoiler alert, we are at over 400 death already. <laughs> <laughs> a good run has like 250 to 300, so this is Crimson. This is Crimson. The final boss from I Wanna Be the Crimson, surprisingly. Yeah, this boss is um, pretty cool. Uh, he, he uh, as, apart from the red one who shoots a uh, targeted apple at you every couple of seconds, uh, all these other ones only shoot reacting to your uh, damaging them. So, you know, you've got the green one doing the horizontal and now vertical ones. Uh, Blue shoots diagonal ones, and yellow shoots like a ring. And all their attacks get like harder as the fight goes on, and uh, most of them also have secondary effects uh, that happen below a certain HP threshold. So uh, once you damage uh, red enough, he's gonna uh, spawn permanently uh, bouncing red apples. Uh, Is that water? Yellow is, yellow is going to spawn uh, constant circling apples. 
Uh, green, if you kill him, is not the last one. He basically just kills you because his head com comes off and just targets you, and it's too fast to outrun for yep. very long. That's like the only restriction to this fight that you have to keep green close to the end. And then uh, blue, we're, you're noticing that we're not damaging him too much because. That's the yikes. I kill green. Yeah, that's what happens when you kill green. That way he was just gonna die there. Once uh, when blue is below half or like just below half, I don't know exactly when. He starts, uh, the normal box stops spawning and he spawns water. And water is weird. Because you're constantly having a falling motion. So because most of the attacks in this uh, are reactionary, you can make it a lot easier on yourself by just, you know, not trying to go too fast with damaging him. But BBS pretty bad at that, so he just usually goes fast. I'm literally the worst at going slow. I'm still good at speed running. Unless it's a marathon runner, but I'm bad at speed running. That makes this like one of the hardest bosses. It's kind of bullshit. The, the bouncing episode red spawns have like a random angle when they spawn. And sometimes they just go in groups of three or four and it gets super impossible to dodge. I think I need to shoot blue once more. Not gonna risk it though. So now you can see the screen is getting filled up with random nonsense. We're gonna kill Red pretty quickly here because he doesn't really do anything if they're fooling us. Okay, now we're gonna trigger the water and hope we don't get bouncing apples into our way too much. And this fight is pretty easy. Just gotta get lucky, bro. Can that, like, not? I have terrible damage. Gonna have to go for probably an extra cycle here, which is bad. You want to kill this boss as fast as possible to not get memed by the red apples. Oh, this looks fantastic. Let me just get out of here real quick. I'm alive. I don't know how I'm alive, but I'm alive. I'm still alive. <laughs> okay, that nice. was much faster than expected. And now for the boss that looks the most impressive and takes the most skill to beat. Destination from I want to be the destination. <laughs> I know the boss names are great. Like whenever a boss doesn't have a certain name, we just call it by the name a game it comes from. Yeah, so this guy, there's constantly this spike that's going from right to left and you shoot the spike and it shoots at the boss and it damages whichever one is currently active. Fun fact, this is the final boss of Pikmin 2. In is paint. It? Oh, is that what it's meant to be? Yeah, it's the Titan Weevil. Was there a coughing in Pikmin? It's that's the comedy bomb, I think it's called. Okay. I'm doing terribly so far, but this boss is three minutes long or something. So as long as I just die at the start and don't really choke later on, we are probably good. So explain the attacks more. Yeah, I mean, so they, they all uh, just appear in completely different order, and sometimes, like just now, you can do the same one multiple times. Um, they're pretty much all like a mix of pattern and RNG stuff, like uh, this one, all the, the big apples are RNG and the little ones target you. This one, there's like a line of the red ones, they all look the same, but some of them target you and then all the rest is random. Uh, blue again. Purple is the only one that doesn't have any RNG, so it's quote unquote the easiest, but has been known to be messed up. I think I died to purple at the start. So, so yeah, the wheel in the middle is pattern, and the corn apples target you. It's crazy just knowing how to mitigate them. And the main thing about this boss is if you transition out of yellow, it's gonna be pretty rough usually. Yellow is the like yellow into whatever that's not blue. Actually, yellow that is not into yellow is really hard. Yellow into yellow is pretty easy, so... If I'm lucky, I get yellow five times in a row and just kill him without really getting into too much danger. Also, a thing that's a thing in this game... Oh my god. You can make the yellow properly, but I'm doing it wrong. Um, if an apple... The apples change animation every couple of frames. I don't know if you can see it. They like rock back and forth. And if an apple hits the floor or a wall, as it is changing sprites, it will bounce the wrong direction. Runs have been lost to that. I need to focus, dude. This is yeah. gonna be bad. It's probably like the most focused by far. 
like three minutes of permanent focus. It's like on Crimson, was with before, you kind of just mash at the, like go fast at the side and then slow it down a bit when more stuff spawns. Can that happen? What Shut am I focus. doing? <laughs> and Gravity Man is like completely resident sleeper until the last phase. That was what I was going to say. Yeah, ye yellow is really hard because, um, I mean, the, the, the ones that fall from the top don't bounce and are random, but the, uh, the circles that he fires out, those target you every time he shoots them, and then they start bouncing around. So if you, like, manage to stay in roughly the same place every time, you can kind of know where the bouncing ones are going. Um, but it's pretty difficult to work around, especially since you, you're not always like in exactly the same place when the attack starts. And uh, like BBF was saying, the transitions out of yellow tend to be the worst ones because they stay around for a fair bit, usually, before they go off screen, so then you have to dodge two sets of things. Especially if it goes into red, because red starts really fast. <sighs> I'm usually, this is usually one of the more consistent bosses for me. I guess the marathon nerfs are getting the best of me. We still have a little bit of time left. If bad comes to worse, I can just do the other boss and then skip this one. The thing about this boss, you pretty much see everything at the start already. I think you face at the very end. If I choke, then I'm going to be so frustrated. Of course, we have to get in. After you kill all the colors, as a sort of white face. That is pretty special. It's not particularly hard, but if you have bad RNB or are nervous, which you are, even, even on a casual place or in a marathon run, it's chokeable. I'm gonna shut up and focus again. Tanting, what is your favorite boss rush boss in this game? Um, good question. Probably this one. It should be this one. This it's the best. Definitely the one that requires the most. I'm not skill. wild about Gravity Man. Crimson is cool, I guess, but very stressful. Nue is part really cool, part really lame. He's gonna be yellow again after this, I would be grand. Yeah, if, if yellow just keeps happening in a row, it makes it so much easier to deal with. Ah, nice RNG, I guess. Oh no, that apple. Okay. See, that, that one yellow apple almost got me into big trouble. Yeah. That's the effect of having a yellow transition. Blue is kind of hard to read because the small apples are kind of hypnotizing if you look at it too much. And it's kind of hard on the eyes to focus on this boss. That was close at all. Okay. So we have like one more color. I want to cycle up each color and then final phase if I can. So we are gonna not shoot the spike right now because we don't want to trigger final phase while we're going to the left, uh, to the right. So now final phase. Spike is going faster and we have this raft in the middle. I love random 360. Best boss design ever. Shut up and beat the boss, please. I'm not gonna shut up. Talking is my forte. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit scary at the end. It was. Now for Toho boss. That is a very good start, <laughs> especially because I was free RNG. So, the first half of this boss is difficult, the second half is completely free. Which is a nice change of pace. Yep, usually hard parts are at the end of the bosses. This attack is stupid. Yeah, they it's actually buffed this attack from the original for whatever reason. They usually 
they pretty nerf pretty much every boss rush boss, but then they nerf buff this attack. Yeah, all these orbs are constantly changing directions, and there's no way to predict what any of them are gonna do ever. <laughs> what can I do? I was pushed upwards, and then there's no way. The, the only good thing about that attack is that you can take down half of the HP before they even yeah. get to you. Also, the thing is that they got off screen on the right, and then they just turn around and come back, <laughs> and there's like nothing to do about that. It's rare, but it happens. Like they despawn when they are pretty far off screen. If they're just off screen, you don't you don't really pay attention to them anymore because they went past you and then they just suddenly turn around. This is going to be an issue in the final boss as well if you're unlucky. Spoiler alert: the final boss has attacks from pretty much every other boss in the game. Oh my god, RNG! I'm usually pretty good at this boss. I'm getting kind of I mean, unlucky. Derp orbs are derp orbs. That's what I call them. After the red orbs, it's usually smooth sailing. The third attack can be difficult, but it's usually really fair, surprisingly. It doesn't really look like an attack that should be fair. Oh, God. Oh, he just turned around on the spots! Ah, uh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That feel when you have shoot next to reload and you spam reload instead of shoot. You love spamming reload. Reload is like the number one thing that untriggers me when I'm really retilted really by speedrunning. I just spam reload for like a good minute and then all is good again in my heart. So if, if I was practicing or casually doing no reset runs at home, I would be so mad right now about this run. But it's a marathon run. I didn't expect anything else. I hope you didn't expect anything else either. <laughs> Otherwise, you're uh, probably disappointed now. We have 18 minutes. We can do it. Maybe. Theory. I mean, the final boss takes only 4 minutes if you're good. I practiced the final boss a bit before the run. Probably means it's gonna be horribly wrong. This looks decent. There we go. Okay. But. Please remind me to not be stupid on the last attack if I get there. Okay. I.e., shut up. Count, count in English. Good. I should always count in English. If I count in a different language, I die every time. Oh. Like, this is going bad. You know what the best thing about this is? We beat four bosses in a row after we beat this. What best after four bosses in a row than to do a fifth boss in a row? Yeah! <laughs> it's a thing. You're like, when you play it casually and have, like, blind, I think no one plays it blind anymore, but if you play blind, you're like, oh, I beat four bosses, this is so good, I can go back to platforming. And the game's like, nope, <laughs> here's one more. At least it's way easier. Not for when me. You're not speed running. What is this RNG, dude? Come on! So I get the five dollars for finishing an S without happening. <laughs> But I first like gravity, man. That's five dollars more. Can I like not die to this boss, please? I hope my parents don't think I'm too much of a disgrace right now. <laughs> Shout out to them again if they're still watching. I mean, if I was watching this run, I went to bed an hour ago. They they don't know this is a bad run. But well, you've been saying it every two minutes, so they might have an inkling. My dad doesn't speak English. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think my mom is live translating. Like this used to be like my favorite boss, or one of my like the second favorites, I guess. Okay, let's not choke again. Yeah, we are getting used to jumping and shooting at the same time. So I have to play an incredibly good late game to not go over estimate now. Uh, it's I mean... Alright, so that was, that was the hard part of the fight. From here, in theory, it should be pretty easy. This is mostly pattern. I didn't miss that much, so we're probably good. It gets a little bit iffy if you miss damage because you have to dodge some more orbs. This, this attack would in theory be kinda awkward, but we go like right here. In the original, going behind the boss kills you. 
Fun Luckily, fact. her hitbox doesn't extend to her entire body. Oh, yes. Okay. Monka shake. <clears throat> <sighs> One, two, three. I'm gonna count later. I don't care because it's played. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Good. Yeah. You guys are really hype. I, I don't get the hype. You always be hyped for big kids. So uh, please. Sped up Guy Rock is my favorite song in the world. <laughs> so, uh, this is another boss where, like, um, how hard it is very much depends on how fast you go, even more so than Crimson. So, he shoots Appletron every time I shoot him, and there'll always be his. He heads in the direction I get every 20% like 20 HP or something, I don't know. The first, at the start you can kind of spam, but as the fight goes on, you have to slow down more and more because more and more stuff starts spawning. So I on the bottom should start any second now. When I stream this, I get a lot of the question a lot. Why didn't you just keep meshing? This boss is literally impossible if you just keep meshing. One. Explain why I'm counting. Three. Oh, yeah. Four, um, five, at a certain point, six, a bouncing apple is going to spawn. And eight, he wants to be ready for that eight. so it doesn't insta okay. give him. Can I make this jump? That was very close. So I got the top right spawn. Uh, if you got top left, you can get insta gipped. Go like diagonally in either the diagonal directions. If you get the top uh, bottom left spawn, it's like a pretty good meme. It, takes, it has the fake bounce at the same spot every time and it comes past you like twice as often or something. Uh, but always the same angle. So getting bottom left is bad for killing the boss fast, but bottom left is good for surviving the boss. So I would totally not have mind getting bottom left here. But we got top right. Uh, am I dead? I'm dead. Greedy. Tell me don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Oh, that's like no way we're going underestimate. Might have to skip the next segment because the next segment is notorious for getting people stuck. I'm gonna try. For like three, four minutes. I really do not just want to get the run to an, an hour 45 or something, which looks like it might be. Sorry if I bring in the audience and want to go to bed after this run. <laughs> the thing yeah, is, it's like a lot of RNG. If you had a, like if you get a bad spawn pattern, so to speak, it can be really rough to dodge. On. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bad right side spawns. So we wait. Hey, we got the top left spawn. If I was farther left, I would have been in the gift. Uh, farther right. And whenever I play in a marathon and have like to focus, I always mix up left and right. I don't know why. It's like. So you're gonna see it bouncing backwards here. No, oh, it's, oh, it's oh, the oh, top that's right. The other one. Yeah, bottom left is the one that memes around. Right. Gonna wait for the bouncing apple. It's kind of hard to, kind of easy to lose track of the bouncing apple sometimes, which is really bad. You want to know when it's coming around, to, so you can know when to not damage him anymore. Just good to take a break from shooting him every time. Then follow my rule. Of every time I get a bad right side, it's one I slow down. That's my rule of this boss. Makes it considerably more consistent for me. But rules are there to be broken, I guess. Okay. That was a bit sketchy. We're gonna go for the YOLO soon. You Where you just mess now. Oh, can I? Uh, that's only you if I die, right? Okay, I didn't die.
Now for the longest black farming segment in the run, which is also an auto-scroller. But it's got really good music. You could technically beat this without waiting, but it's like 20 jumps. Also get your Sour Please ready. That's a good death. Do we have your Sour Please ready? It's in about like 15, 20 seconds, the song gets great. Rough estimate, might be wrong. That estimate might be about as good as my run estimate. <laughs> There's like a lot of standard drums, like a lot, a lot. Sour please, dude. So we have to go this way. You have to like figure this out yourself. You're, you're gonna notice when you go the other way casually, you're gonna get stuck, so you're gonna start looking for other ways to go, naturally. There's like three difficult drums in this. That are all in the second half. Yours. This is a great game. Love Camellia for this. I have like really small spikes here that you can't really see. Something that really annoys me about stuff like this is the spikes have the same color as the blocks. So it's kind of hard to tell where the block ends and the spike starts. Okay, this is a hard run. Okay. And I'm gonna pretty much first rate. This is the ending. Double 16 pixel gap. That was, that was one frame too much. That would probably be a good time to skip this part because that's literally all it is. I'm gonna try again like once. I hope it's okay to skip this part. I asked Patsuke, he said I can do whatever I want. So in sake of the estimate, I could be stuck for like another 10 minutes here now because getting to the end is hard and the end is like super mega chokeable. As I said, 16 pixel gaps are a two frame window of left or right movement. So... Doing twice in a row is... Surprisingly precise. You could theoretically try to save your double jump for the second one, which makes it much easier. But it's really difficult to get a to get into the first one without dying if you don't double jump. So the general threat almost everyone does is Oh I have 420 death. I don't have 420 death anymore. I'm just gonna skip this I think. I'm sorry. Where's my folder? Oh you can see this. Uh practice eight seven. So I have a save literally everywhere. Shout out to Den for Rock for making, making this. We're gonna copy over the save data. You just move the screen as well. What? It's not properly copied. Oh, you move the screen. I'm sorry. Wait. I can fix this. That's as good as it gets. <laughs> sorry, tech. I, I'm not very smart. Okay, this is M stage. Um, stage I was made by the creator of the game. It's. Pretty difficult. That's like two or three saves that are terrible. This save is one of them. This jump here is frame perfect. Yeah, it's here to the perfect position and just jump in right on the same frame, which I'm bad at as I already mentioned. Okay, that was pretty good. That's something that usually better than I do in my runs. So we were doing a seating jump. We were supposed to go left, go upside down and come back, but we are gonna do a seating jump here and skip. Like three saves, two saves, something like that. So now we skip like the entire bottom part where we have to do this jump left finisher part upside down. From my least favorite save in this. Plane jump, okay. 16 big save, okay. Nice. So, so we're gonna uh, uh, use a glitch here. We're gonna go upside down and press F2. Going to the main menu and reloading the save that way doesn't. That you, doesn't make you go up right side up, so you can do this. This is gonna be annoying after a while because I'm probably gonna die on the save a lot. But it's faster than going to the upside down arrow every time. Just kidding, this is easy. There we go. So we have to do a weird platform jump here. We have to like re jump from the platform but get away from below the block at the same time. This is like the ceiling jump I was trying to do on that one screen, except a lot easier. Upside down diamond, don't fail me. Good. This is a hard save, probably the hardest for me. I found a way to do the last jump a lot more consistently for me, which probably means I'm just gonna get stuck there now. This save, like the first drop, is just annoying. Okay, that was not the correct setup. It's a pretty good M stage so far. 
bothering me. <laughs> it would bother me if I knew that was there. There we go. Now we do a ceiling uh, uh, save boost to skip the first half of the save. We have to do this platform jump again. There we go. Wow. What is better than two corners on one save? Fun sick. Two sphincters on one save? Don't say sphincter, it's a bad word. It's maybe. It's. Please. We call this ever a sphincter, because if there's a spike on every side, it looks like a sphincter, I guess. It's. That was really, really fast. That save is like super RNG. <laughs> It's not RNG, RNG, but it's might as well just be RNG. Okay. We could go left here to go to extra, but extra is in the game. So we just have <laughs> two back to the safe. So what time are we at? Oh, if I first try the boss and YOLO phase two, we can definitely get a 130. <laughs> okay. Final boss. So the final and boss uh, is uh, definitely the hardest part of the game, so... It has the habit of being ridiculously unfair sometimes. So this is the intro. More easy. Easy peasy. Basically he's gonna do a couple of attacks and then he's gonna here he has but five different colors that correspond to one boss of the game or to what like to a part of the bosses of the game. So blue is the boss rush remake ish. We have the blue apples in destination, the bouncing apples, uh, targeted red apples or random red apples, whatever. We have also some new A, lava, fireballs from Gravity Man. And of course, the red ops from new A. Of course they took the worst part of that boss to put in here. Good, now purple, it's the third boss in Luka. You probably remember this, this is one of the V6 parts. This is blue, purple and red are the V parts. I have now blue. It's, now it's gonna do an attack that you never saw because it was a part of the boss that he killed before it happened. Even casually you never see this attack on the boss. You have to like deliberately deal no damage to see this part of the boss. <laughs> that looks good. Should stop before it hits me. Yellow, this is sticky keys and the guy I hold right too late, never mind. This is the one that, that's actually patterned, but it's yeah, okay. that part is difficult to get used to. Why does it have to be red last? Oh my <laughs> god. Holgrin. This this is pretty fun to get good at. Like beating the, the green orbs and working with the hydro pumps. It had to be red last. <laughs> red is geezer, and much like the actual geezer fight, it can very easily screw you. The bats are behaving. Ah, first try phase one. <laughs> first try phase one. That's the hard part of the fight. We, we get an auto save here, so we are safe out of phase one. I guess good thing I practiced this like an hour before my run. <laughs> so this phase is the ultimate unfair. It's so unfair. Just like Big Kid, if I shoot her, she spawns apples. Except there's more going on at the same time. These purple explosions. If they sp they the small orbs they explode into are like um, random speed, and sometimes they just. Ah, right into your face. Yeah, it's, it's like it's such nonsense. And together with a red, like with the apples, it can be super impossible to dodge. I guess you could go super slow. If you only shoot at once every cy cycle, you only spawn like one apple every cycle, but then you have to do what? A hundred cycles. <laughs> this is the worst attack. The you know, fireworks. Yeah, notorious are being bad for damage. So you want to get them. So I'm like. We'll try to leave that first right phase one. Yeah, that's that's honestly really good. For oh, reference, my PB, which is five minutes behind the record, lost like four minutes from this boss. Just so you know, even even PB and record runs, dying to this boss is pretty much guaranteed. If there's so much RNG, it's just impossible to do it 100% consistently. You can practice as much as you want, if you have bad RNG or that. So like, if you want, it's totally possible to just stand on the left and uh, and just shoot her and just, you know... I might try that in like a moment. Try to get lucky. Oh, rip estimate. Sad face, no space. And it's pretty much something that almost never works and you shouldn't go for it in runs. The funny thing is the world record holder yeah. got his record because he did the YOLO straight after he 
He, he died so on it once, and then it was like, well, to get record, I need to do the YOLO strat now. Oh, the sick dodge. And, and he did it, and it worked. Yeah, the record is pretty much only there because he got extremely lucky. I get you are required to get lucky with the YOLO. Not to take anything away from Cake, he's awesome, but... <laughs> yeah, Cake is pretty good at speedruns. He might be better than me at speedruns in fan games. Except Boshi. Ah, don't die, please. We have a really bad time to die. Okay, and one more attack. That's a good one. I like the easy attack damage though. Yeah, phase 3. There are no more autosaves in this fight, so I have to do phase 3 and 4 in one go. As well as phase 2, I guess. This is pattern, but I'm notorious for doing it wrong. Even if you do it wrong, you can save it by playing well. But I wouldn't really rely on that right now. How much adrenaline right now? I'm not even tired. I was so tired before this run. Now I'm like wide awake. Good old adrenaline. Shout out to adrenaline. If I die to phase 4, I might just load up a save file there. Like, it doesn't save in phase 4, but there's a backup save for it. I don't know how he made that, but kind of needs a thing. Hacking. This is also a pattern. Unsavory means. So. Phase 4, scary face. I hope the screen is bright enough that I can actually see something. If your brightness on your screen is low, it's like impossible to see yourself on this. <laughs> it has like 300 HP here, so. That was. Oh my god. That didn't go well. I'm gonna try again. I did see if I ever get stuck on phase 2 for too long. It's time to. That was. That attack was random. If you had like half the text random, half the text pattern. Not really, there's only like two random attacks? I like five random attacks. What? But most of the random attacks don't matter. Just say easy. I don't think that's accurate at all, but okay. It's like one that's just random spray and one that's random spray and also it goes under. I don't think any of the other ones are random. Actually, I'm not sure now. Then half of them is easy, and the other half is easy. But that was straight up angry. Shoutouts to this boss, being always fair and reasonable. <laughs> I guess it's the boss is fair if you go extremely slow. But nobody wants to do that, especially when you know there's like two more phases after this that you have to do. I don't want to go super slow on this every single time. I think I did this wrong. Don't kill me, please. Can I walk under this? I'm not sure. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna stop myself from shooting too much. I'm like used to deal a lot of damage on bosses by shooting as much as I can. Like, iframes are bad. This was actually at iframes, but you don't want to shoot that fast anyway. But I can set up for disaster. Uh, that was not what I wanted to do, but whatever. I didn't see that word. Like, this face has a real color issue, color matching issue. Like, the top lobs are like similar to her shirt. Uh, these attacks from the middle are kind of similar to the circle in the middle. It can be hard to see them. Actually, it's a small one flying in from the other side of the screen. It's bad time. Okay. Let's hope I don't just die here. <laughs> I died here in practice like three times. It's always the same. There's no reason to die to this. Except when you are me and really, really lazy with practice. I'm notorious for not practicing. I just grind runs. Literally grind monkey. I'm, I don't know if I'm ever going to get the record in this game. On one hand, I really want to because it's a pretty precious record to have. On the other hand, this game is so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Yeah. Sometimes I just reset world stage 1 for like 15 minutes. But my stage 1 optimization is way out there anyway. My stage 1 goal is 2.54 and the second best runner's stage 1 goal is like 3.03 or something. I just cared way too much about the early game. 
Okay. I actually died to this quite a bit lately. Head on. Oh, this is the random street fix here that I died to before. Oh, this looks fantastic. Oh, I survived that. Shoutouts to a bad RNG. This is probably the easiest, the easiest that I actually can do. I should probably fell up. <laughs> I won't buy it. Also, shoutouts to Xenoblade music. This is random. Like, the middle ones are random, and the screen wrapping ones are pattern. Oh, that's to me almost dying to the first screen wrapping one, even though I don't know what's coming. Oh no! Not the. Oh no! Why this attack? This is pure pattern, but it's hard. Can you die, please? Good. I smashed that button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's over! Finally. Good job, dude. Oh my god. Outside of having to skip Big Hit Chase because of that epic yeah. choke at the end, I could have probably still got like a. You one. saw all the game. I yeah. said Big Kid dying, I guess. Yeah, Big Kid falls on spikes and explodes like the kid does. Yeah. So, that credits playing, I don't really care. <laughs> you can cut to the mission. Thank you for having me. We're gonna see each other in like 16 hours, Boshi.